Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this other tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you a very simple way to migrate your locally designed website using Flywheel. It can even be any other local environment like MAMP, ZAMP, WAMP. This tutorial still applies, but I've also made specific videos to uh, such environments like MAMP and uh, you can also look it up here in the card. But in this video, it is basically to help you migrate your locally designed websites to a live server. So uh, this is our, my website design locally here. Just to take you through, it's on a local server. It's using the locally provided URL. You have to do two things. First of all, you have to make sure that your platform where you're going to migrate your website is already prepared. This is the website where I'm going to migrate my website that is designed locally and it's live on the internet. Just to refresh, to show you, this is how it appears. It's you're having the default WordPress uh, installation. If you have your server and has cPanel, this tutorial that I'm going to uh, share with you up there in the card, it will show you how you can install WordPress on your server in a couple of seconds. Once you have your uh, live or server environment prepared, having WordPress installed, you just come back over to your local environment where you're, where you're locally developing from, come head straight to plugins, add new plugins. And in this, I'm going to share with you a very nice free plugin that is going to hopefully stay forever for free, like our store in an email. This plugin is called WP Vivid Backup. It helps you to clone, migrate, and backup websites. And some of the amazing features for me that I like most, your database can be as large as possible. You know, there is no backup size. You know, for as long as your website is available, you can easily back it up and migrate it using this amazing plugin. So, you just head over to wordpress.org and then search for WPVBit. Or you can simply come to your plugins area and then just search here for WPVBit and install it on your local environment. However, I already downloaded it. So I just come over here, um, then I upload it, WPVBit, upload, and then install. Now here it has installed. Let me activate on my local environment. Once it's activated, right here, there is nothing else I'm going to do or edit or fix or technically uh, set up. I just say backup. So like I do the full website backup, including the database and the entire website. Then I'll save this backup on the local computer or on the local server or wherever this website is seated. But also you can back up your website to other cloud platforms, but that's not what we want. We're just going to back it up on our local server and we are good to go. So once I press backup, it starts right away. A few seconds to go. Okay, yeah, looks like now we are done. Our website has finished backing up. So we just scroll down here and then we see our recent backup. It also has a feature of scanning the available backups on your server or on your local environment. But at the moment we only have one. So I'll just download this backup. So I can download to my local uh, computer. So I have my entire website backed up, including the database in this downloaded file. So I just head over to the uh, live server or the live website where I want to migrate my website to. Uh, it's here already in the back end. I can also still open for you here and you see that it's a real website. This is the one. So I just head over straight here. I go to plugins, add new. And I add that same plugin. This time, let me search for it, WP Vivid. Then I can just, boom, install. Activate. And we are good to go. So what we need to do now is to 
bring over our local our locally designed website into our live environment which is our live server so by doing that it means we are going to upload the files using this plugin so we just head straight down here and then we look up for upload so when we find upload then we, we can either drag our files here or we can just navigate to look up for them so i just look up for our files where did we where do we have them digital creative this is it just right now and now i bring over my i bring over my backed up website i upload into this live website it will take a couple of minutes to upload so i'll just get back when it's done so guys congratulations we have finally uploaded our backup to our live server what we just need to do is just scroll down here and locate our backups we are just going to click only on one button and we restore this website i mean we're just going to get the files now appear on this very website so this is the before and what we are going to see is going to be the after so we just click restore so now it starts restoring the website two things you have to know is that with this plug you don't have anything to do with searching and replacing urls that have been on the local environment so it will log you out and once you are logged out you will have to log in back using the login details that you are using for wordpress on the local environment in this case uh, local by flywheel let's click restore continue and it has to start reading the files from the backup and getting them ready on this new server now we are logged out so we have now to log in using the wordpress login details that we are using on the local host so i log in and we are here so now i can access my newly cloned or migrated website from the local host to the live server so now let's look at the final product we have so this is before now I reload the page. Now let me open the restored website in a new page and you see, boom. So we have our locally developed WordPress website on our live server in just a click by restoring using the WPVV plugin and we are good to go. So guys, Congratulations upon moving your website from the local host. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss out a new video when I push it out. Have a good time. See ya.